The following program is rated E for educational. Hey guys, so I know that we were supposed to start this weekend on the Cool Grey Jordan 11s, but I went ahead and got started earlier today. So here's what happened. So here are the Cool Greys. As I mentioned, it has an amber colored sole, not quite yellow anymore. What you'll need is ice packs, toothbrush, I actually got myself a new badge of sea glow. And I have ice bags. And of course, towels. So first, what I'm going to do is put a towel over the ice packs. I plan to have the shoes set up this way so I can have the ice pack on top of the carbon fiber. So it should look like look something like that during the setup. Now application of C glow is done practically the same as the Converse Pro leather. You want to put Sea Glow into the toothbrush and apply like so to the soles. Evenly coat the soles with the Sea Glow. It's about 93 degrees outside, and the UV index is about 6. Hey, what's a UV index? According to Wikipedia, the UV index is an international standard of measurement of how strong the ultraviolet radiation from the sun is at a particular place on a particular day. It is a scale primarily used in daily forecast aimed at the general public. Now what you want to do is get out, cover up the uppers because we don't want the sun to damage that. And then place your ice bag like so. Now, the purpose of the ice bag is to prevent the sole from separating. Now, a lot of people think that the soles are the only thing that separates. Apparently, if you don't, don't, if you don't take care of the midsoles, the midsoles can actually separate from where the patent leather, patent leather meets. So, always use caution when you have the shoes outside in the sun. Now I'm going to leave the shoes approximately outside for about an hour. I'm going to be checking on the shoes every 10 to 15 minutes to check on any separation or damage that might occur. So see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. The UV index has fell to a five. So that might affect the overall result that I'm going to get within the next 45 minutes or so. 
So what you want to do is check the carbon fiber, check where the sole is at for any separation. Everything's still solid. them out for another 43 minutes or so and then I'm going to call it a day. Alright so I'm going to remove the sea glow with a damp paper towel. actually deactivates the sea glow, not removed. Welcome back. As you can see, we didn't get any results, but you did learn something. Ah. One, the setup process. Now, it's important to use ice to prevent any separation. Also, it's important that you cover up anything that's not being sea glowed to prevent any damage or fading. Two, obviously, sea glowing in the afternoon does not produce the best results. Three, in the video, I did mention UV index. Now, I won't be going into much detail about it, but it does play a big role in the results that you get. So we hope you enjoyed the video. This weekend, we will be sea glowing the Cool Gray Jordan 11s. Hopefully, we get better results. So until then, be sure to stay tuned. The following program was brought to you today by the letter A and a number one. All I need is a cam to record it for you, show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know I had to make this song right here. You know I had to make you girl. You know I had to make you girl. Somebody else. You know I had to make you girl. I complain about the cold when we got the most beautiful ladies from all over the globe. This song is dedicated to all of y'all. Whether you were black or white, short or tall, brunette yeah. or blonde, slim or thick, stressed or calm. But I'm not talking about those With a bad attitude wearing hoochie clothes Don't know how to talk Act like a man and spit when they walk I'm talking about the classic types With a proper outfit when the smile is like God sent down announcements For all men to behave Funny see ten men get straight right away I lay this soul it takes To get some water up in the place When the sky's dim she put a smile on your face I've been all around the world And seen a lot of